Welcome back to another cool tool show and tell. Today, my special guest joining us again is Matt Stoltz. What did he bring to show us today, Matt? All right. So I do a lot of 3D printing. Uh, I'm the head of community for Bruce of Research. I used to do digital fabrication editor for, for Make. Uh, lots and lots of 3D printing. And one of the problems is to get a good print, you really have to make sure that your print is stuck to your bed really well. Well, sometimes getting that print off can be really a hassle. And I've had more than uh, more than a couple of friends go to the emergency room after taking razor blades to their fingers trying to get prints off. That was all fixed when BuildTac, a company that makes a film to put onto your, your print bed to keep your print stuck down, created this. The BuildTac spatula. Uh, looks a lot like your kind of normal putty knife kind of thing, but has some really nice angles on it so you can really get into a print and get kind of a, a glancing blow underneath to get underneath. It's not too sharp, but the best part is this offset handle. When you're trying to, to peel a part off, your your all your force is going straight across. You're not having to angle down in, and it's not gouging up your plate because it's coming straight across. This thing is awesome. My only issue with it is I wish I had more than one because I love it. <laughs> That's great. I have um, I've always been a little bit fearful of the the spatulas onto the bill plate just because I'm so worried about gouging up the bill plate. When I used to be at the make office, I used to see all the print beds just <laughs> just yep. scraped away, and then, oh, anything I can do to prevent damaging my bill plate, I'll just I'll do whatever I can. Uh, but there are, especially yeah. in my experience, I'm sure you can talk to this more, certain filaments really need to get stuck to that print bed in order to have any success with them. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're printing an ABS, even, you know, PETG, which is what we're printing all the face shields in right now. Um, to really have good success, you really need to make sure that things are stuck down well. Uh, PLA tends to be a little stickier, so a lot of people have have good success with that and, and you know, better tolerance levels. Uh, but as you get into more advanced filaments, making sure that that first layer is stuck is really, really crucial. And not ripping up your expensive bed, trying to get it off with a razor or with a knife or something like that, uh, really is beneficial. I mean, my go-to previously had always been having a, a pocket knife, a decent pocket knife, and trying to get things through. But again, I've, I've nearly cut myself a couple times, uh, and I have definitely gouged up beds many times. And this... Uh, this really does take care of that issue. It, uh, it just gets right in there and gets your, your parts right off, and I, I absolutely love the thing. All right, cool. So it looks like 22 to $24 is around the range that you would pay for something like this. Um, much yeah. more than you pay for like a, a paint, painter's scraper or something like that, but in your opinion, worth every a penny? A lot less than you pay for stitches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's worth every penny. Cool. All right, and then Matt, tell me about what you're up to these days. I know you're with uh, with Prusa. What's 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 going on? Yeah, so I'm head of community at Prusa Research. So uh, I am trying to get more people kind of involved in in local communities who are are three D printing together. I met up with you, Donald, uh, last fall at a meetup that I was hosting uh, out there in the Bay Area. Um, so before uh, we all went into lockdown, I was going around and and kicking off local meetups and working on on getting people kind of interacting together uh, on three D printing because. While we have great support, it's really nice to have local people who you can talk to about these things. Uh, I ran an organization called 3 dp DVD, or a meetup group, not really an organization, um, for about seven years. Uh, that was a once-a-month meetup group for people interested in 3D printing in Providence uh, until I moved here to Maine. And it was a great way for people to get their questions answered. You know, so many times people come in, oh, I bought a new printer for Christmas and and now it's broken or I don't know how to use it and we'd be able to help get them up to speed a lot faster than you know just watching videos on the internet or reading forums or things like that because physical communities are really great and you know getting those physical communities a better home online than a lot of the 3D printing homes in the past is also another goal. So we have uh, launched prusaprinters.org, which is a file sharing site that allows you to easily upload your, your 3D printed designs and share those with other people. Uh, very similar to uh, Thingiverse, which is now sadly, you know, kind of kind of falling apart in many cases. Um, and we've 
also created groups within that uh, that we are using to help build some of these these local groups too. It's really been focused right now a lot on on the COVID side of things, uh, getting people together to to make PPE. Um, but as that starts to hopefully fade out, we're going to use these groups to help build these these local communities a lot more too. All right, very cool, and a really great recommendation, Matt. I think I'm going to pick one up. Finally, commit to the. Uh the little <laughs> scraper lifestyle here instead of just trying to yank it from my print bed. Thanks, man. Yeah.